The coronation of Charles III and Camilla is the ceremony by which Charles III is formally recognized as monarch of the United Kingdom and his wife Camilla as queen. The coronation will take place at Westminster Abbey, London on May 6, 2023. It is an Anglican religious ceremony led by the Bishop of Canterbury. During the ceremony, the king takes the coronation oath, is anointed, presented with a regalia and crowned with St. Edward's crown. Then the queen consort is anointed and crowned in a simple ceremony. Charles III is the 40th English or British monarch in a row to be crowned at Westminster Abbey. The ceremony will be more sober and shorter than previous coronations and will also include innovative elements. There will be more room for other faiths and the nobility will play a less important role. The coronation is a formal confirmation of King Charles III's kingship. The real succession to the throne occurred at the time of Queen Elizabeth II's death on September 8, 2022. The crown passed immediately to Charles as her eldest son and successor, so the throne was never vacant for a moment. Similar coronation ceremonies used to be common in other monarchies. In Europe, these have now been replaced by inauguration ceremonies everywhere. Later, in 2023, Charles III will be presented with the Scottish Crown Jewels, the Honours of Scotland, at a special service at St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. On May 6, however, he will be crowned King of the entire United Kingdom, including Scotland. The court has announced that Charles III's coronation will combine traditional and innovative elements. The core of the ceremony will not change, but there will be greater consideration for other faiths than the Anglican faith, for example. For the first time, part of the liturgy will be in Welsh, and important duties will be performed by people diverse in race, gender, descent, and political and religious background. The main elements of the British coronation ceremony can already be found in a description of the coronation of King Edgar of England in 973. These elements have not changed over the centuries. The coronation of the English and later British monarch has taken place in Westminster Abbey since 1066. Before arrival of the King and Queen consort, the regalia are carried into the abbey and placed on the altar. During the ceremony, the monarch takes the coronation oath, is anointed, presented with a regalia and crowned with St. Edward's crown. The clergy and nobility then swear allegiance to the king. Afterwards, the queen consort is also anointed and crowned in a simple ceremony. The coronation is traditionally accompanied by great ceremonial display and much pomp and circumstance, both in Westminster Abbey and outside. Charles and Camilla are both anointed with a consecrated oil. This is considered the most sacred part of the ceremony. The anointing is done with a perfumed olive oil. The olives came from olive groves in Jerusalem, from an orchard not far from the tomb of Charles' grandmother, Princess Alice of Battenberg. Charles will be crowned with St. Edward's crown. When leaving the abbey and at the balcony seen after the ceremony, the king will wear the imperial state crown, which is lighter and easier to wear than St. Edward's crown. The imperial state crown contains the large Cullinan II diamond. For the first time in history, the Stone of Scone, the Scottish coronation stone, was brought from Edinburgh to Westminster Abbey for a coronation. The stone has been taken from Scotland by the English as spoils of war in 1296 and had been kept in the Abbey ever since, but it was returned to Scotland in 1996. On April 28, 2023, the stone began its journey to London after a brief ceremony at Edinburgh Castle. The stone will be placed in a hollow space underneath the coronation chair. In Scotland, several hundred people signed a petition to prevent the Stone of Scone being brought to England for the coronation. Former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, also called for the Scottish coronation stone not to be transferred to London. The coronation chair itself was restored for the coronation. The chair is over 700 years old, made of oak and very fragile. It is the oldest known piece of furniture still used for the purpose of which it was originally made. 
It is customary for nobles of royal blood to individually take an oath of allegiance to the monarch. The coronation of Charles III involves his sons, brothers and great-nephews. As the position of Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, and Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is controversial, this part may be dropped. The general dress code for the coronation is normal city dress. At Elizabeth II's coronation in 1953, the preference was still for ceremonial attire, court dress or formal evening wear. Members of the nobility will no longer wear full-trimmed red velvet coronation dressing gowns and crowns of nobility at the court's request. On the day of the coronation, Charles III and Camilla will ride by carriage in a rather small procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey. They will be escorted by some 200 soldiers. After the ceremony, they ride back to the palace in a grand state procession. This coronation procession consists of soldiers in ceremonial uniform on foot and on horseback. It is traditionally one of the festive highlights of the day. The royal couple uses the notoriously uncomfortable 18th century British golden coach on the return journey. The outward journey is made in the modern equipped newer Diamond Jubilee state coach. Church bells will be rung throughout the UK after the coronation. Contemporary and historic aircrafts from the Air Force, Navy and Army will perform a ceremonial flyby over Buckingham Palace as the royal family stands on the balcony. In April 2023, less than a month before the coronation, some 3,000 participants in a poll indicated only moderate interest in the coronation. 35% said they did not care very much about the coronation and 29% did not care at all. There was particularly little interest among young people. Nevertheless, 46% said they would watch the television broadcast or join in celebrations. In a poll conducted a few days later, 51% said they did not think the coronation should be paid for with taxpayers' money. What is your point of view on this matter? Will you be watching the coronation? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.